This is Twit. Ivan in uh, Santa Nella, California. I don't know where that is. Hi, hi, Ivan. Hi, Leo. How's it going, man? It's going great. Where is Santa Nella? Santa Nella is on the I-5, about 40 miles from Tracy, California. Got it. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, first time uh, caller. Been listening to you for about over a year now. Thank uh, you. I Welcome. Have a question. Yes, sir. I have a question. I have an Alienware M14 laptop. Oh, you're a gamer. Yes, sir. I'm a gamer. I'm 22 years old, so <laughs> <laughs> that's all I do. Best reason to own a Windows machine, gaming. Yes, sir. I have a problem with it, and it just started up uh, about a month ago. Laptop's less than a year old, but it's, it's heating up like a mother. Um, <laughs> I understand that, that, you know, it's a gaming laptop, so it's going to heat up, of course, but... Yeah. The te I have a temperature monitoring program on the laptop, uh -huh. and I'm getting temperatures of upwards of 210 degrees on my, uh, oh, on my not... <laughs> GPU. See, when you can boil water on your computer, that's probably not a good thing. No, and I've taken it back to the store. They, they say the hardware is fine, but the fans are spinning at their max RPM. And uh, it, it's mainly my uh, my my GPU that that's uh, that the graphics card that that's heating up. Well, that's I mean, it is normal to heat up. I'm not sure what the um, normal tolerance of uh, your NVIDIA or AMD GPU is, but I'm guessing it's not over 200 degrees. No, well, I mean, like I said, I have that temperature monitoring software, and yeah. uh, it gives me the maximum it's supposed to be, which is 170 degrees. Okay, and that's Fahrenheit, obviously. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Yeah. You don't, yeah. yeah. So you, generally speaking, uh, you want to see, and I'm, I don't know why, for some reason I'm, I'm used to looking at these numbers in Celsius. Um, but, I can give you the numbers in Celsius. No, yeah, it's fine, but I'm just usually, you, you want to see a CPU running around 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. You don't want to see 90. Nine, no, my, nine, uh, my, CPU, my CPU is running at, uh, right now, is at uh, 52. Yeah, that's good. Celsius. That's about right. It's interesting your GPU is heating up. I would guess that, you know, using my clairvoyant long-distance diagnostic powers, your GPU fan is probably not functioning. Well, that's the thing is I took it to uh, a Dell store and I took it to uh, to Best Buy to get it checked out. And they said uh, all the hardware is functioning properly. Did they open it? Yeah, they opened it. Okay, the other thing that can happen, you know um, that the fans nowadays these processors are working really hard and they're jam packed oh, yeah. in there there's a lot of there's literally millions of transistors switches in a something the size of a square inch so yeah if you think about it and it's working 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 it's going to get very hot and so cooling is important it will easily get to 200 degrees fahrenheit or hotter uh, in fact, at some point, very, you're very close to it. The, the whole system will just say, no, we're not going any farther because we don't want to burst into flame here. Um, it, it can damage the processor. But they're cooled, and that's why they're cooled. The coolers usually are active coolers. They're fans, and they are either part of the mount or they're attached. But then they're, they're, there's the dip, which is the actual chip itself, the plastic container in the chip itself. And it is generally connected to the dip with a very thin paste of uh, conductive uh, adhesive, that you know, heat conductive adhesive. Um, now, you can make that, you can make a mess with that. You can put too much on, that's actually bad, or too little on, that's bad as well, obviously, or none, which wouldn't work at all. Um, it may be that that connection between the cooler, the active cooler on your GPU, and the GPU dip is, is failed, whether it's the thermal paste or the or how you know maybe it got locked knocked a little loose and there's an air gap that would be the worst you want that to be a very good thermal seal between the two so you know this it sounds like the store looked at it but didn't really solve it that means they didn't fix it yeah well i mean i'm still having the problem yeah like I said, so I bring it back to them and say fix it because yeah, this normally only happens when I'm playing high-intensity, high-graphic games. Yeah, of course and, it does. Uh, well, think about you know. it. It's not working hard. It's not going to heat up. It doesn't heat up just because it's sitting there. It heats up when you work hard, but it should handle that. It's an Alienware. It's designed for gaming. Yeah, well, I mean, you, like I said, I see it normally when it when it when it's when I'm gaming. That's that's normal. I understand that. But right now, I have my laptop on, just sitting on on uh, on the side of my truck because I'm broken down. Oh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're having a bad day, my friend. Yeah, tell me about it. And right now, the temperature on the on the uh, on the G Force, uh, it's a GT 750, 
it, it, right now it's at 150, and I'm not doing anything. 150 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, it, the co yeah. So it does. It, I mean, look, it's, you are doing something. You're looking at the screen. It does stuff, but it, it. So it's not as hot as 200, because it's not doing a game. But it's not cooling as much as it should. That's too hot. You're it, for idling. It shouldn't be that hot. Either the fans, now they look, what they probably did, they opened up and said, well, the fans are spinning, I'm sure it's fine. What they didn't do is they didn't take the fans off and reapply re the thermal paste, make sure it's all done properly, because that's a lot of work and they didn't want to do that. They need to fix it, they haven't fixed it, bring it back to them. Do not continue to operate it this way. It's not good for it. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I haven't played in about a week because I'm afraid of burning the uh, CPU. Well, you won't, you won't. The system will shut down before it actually... Uh burns anything i mean the first time i saw it get up that high I, I i shut down the laptop closed it and put it in front of a fan i presume did you watch these guys look at it did they clean make sure it's all clean and you know there's not yeah they 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 opened it up i saw them open it up they they took the uh, computer cleaner and cleaned it out and then they uh they ran the fans and they said well both fans are running you know yeah that's what i thought Problem. they made sure the fans were spinning and that the vents weren't clogged but i think it's a thermal paste issue and they need to take it off to do that. They need to actually take it off, clean it off, and reapply it. That's more. That's above their pay grade. So this is look. Uh, part of this is the nature of laptop gaming. You, <laughs> I mean, really, you're trying to these high end video games really are intense. There is nothing more demanding on a on a on a computer than playing, you know, Crisis or Far Cry or. You know, uh, at the highest resolution, the high, which I'm sure you're doing in the highest graphics as fast as you can, that is challenging. And it's a challenge for a desktop. You'll see a lot of gaming computers have liquid cooling. They have big fans. They have a lot of space in between stuff. Take all that, jam it into a, a, a tiny container with minimal currents of air going through it. And, of course, it's going to be challenging. Um, I would call Dell, I would call Alienware and just ask, is this normal? Maybe it is. They may say, yeah, yeah, well, you know, we know it's hot in there. What's well, all we could do? It's a tiny space. What do you want? Magic? Because, you know, it is going to be hot. It, it should shut down if it gets too hot. It shouldn't continue on. But I, I really think this is, I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's, it needs to be fixed. I wouldn't continue to do it because uh, after 200 degrees, when you're talking 90 centigrade, 90 Celsius, that's pretty, pretty darn hot. I don't think you want to go much hotter than that.